so really the behavior of consumer sort of the first three quarters of the year versus the last quarter is is pretty significantly different it really especially in november december um that subscriber that you've been kind of getting to know all year uh all of a sudden you know their behavior changes pretty significantly their interests change pretty dramatically because of gift buying right and mm -hmm. so you really have these sort of um you have to recognize the fact that you know from january to you know september october the behaviors of a subscriber is generally their their behavior right they're buying primarily for themselves and for their family uh, for their kids um, and so their behaviors are generally pretty consistent during that period of time but then you get to uh, you know october november december and all of a sudden they're their interests are really all over the place. And when you get into the fourth quarter, and again, certainly into November and December, um, I always encourage people to really kind of reset everything because like if you shouldn't personalize based on stuff that folks did in June in your November campaigns, because it just doesn't make any sense <laughs> because people's interests are gonna be wildly different. So I think the, the big thing that you have to recognize is that like, people's behaviors change really radically. And that means that that data that you've been collecting on them isn't nearly as useful. Also, because of how that holiday behavior can really change from year to year, you're kind of like resetting. Um, and so sometimes you can do, you know, some quick turn personalization, but it's a little bit tricky. In general, it's, uh, it's wise to kind of reset, go with big, broad messages. That's what a lot of retailers do. And I think that is absolutely the right approach. Um, try to keep it really simple, really clean. Recognize that the other big change psychologically during the holiday season is that people are super busy, right? They're, they're juggling you know, their jobs or juggling gift buying, you know, here in the US, US, we have Thanksgiving and then followed by Christmas. So a lot of like family events and people are just really, really busy. And so the best thing you can do during the holiday season in terms of messaging is to keep it really simple. Keep your designs really clean because if people are confused or unclear about what it is that you're offering, um, they're gonna move along. They're gonna move along and you're gonna miss that opportunity. So I think, you know, just keeping it just as succinct and clear as possible, keeping your offers, you know, really broad, whether it's, you know, certainly we see a ton of like site-wide discounts, but certainly a lot of product category discounts as well, um, you know, that are more narrowed, but not, you know, site-wide. Um, and there's just tons of messaging like that that just keep it really simple. Add that in with some branding in terms of, you know, what it is that's unique to your brand, you know, return policies, a lot of logistical kind of things as well. It's just all about really clear communication being, you know, just really easy to understand because again people are just they're on the move they're on to the next thing and if they get confused at all they generally are moving on now that said i know that one of the things that everybody always wants to know about the holiday season is they want to know how they can stand out and you know i've been talking about keeping it simple and i think that sometimes when people hear that they think well I can't stand out if I'm not, if I'm keeping it simple. Um, but I think the thing to, to recognize that like, you know, being simple in a way is sort of standing out because a lot of brands I think do communicate, you know, and mm -hmm. like not in a, a bit of a, a clumsy way that's not very clear. So if you're, if you're the one who's being clear, then you're going to be easier to deal with than, than another brand who maybe mm -hmm. their offer is a little bit confusing or they're not quite sure um, what it is. Like it takes them too long to figure it out. So clarity does help you stand out. But I think that, um, you know, really kind of recognizing that uh, part of the battle has already been won by the time the holiday season arrives. If you were a good brand to uh, receive messages from you know, in June and July and August, then now you've got a seat at the table for the holiday season.
But if your messages weren't relevant, you know, in June, July, and August, uh, if they had bad experiences or didn't find value in your emails, they're going to be not really looking to you during the holiday season. They might not unsubscribe, but you're not going to have their attention um, as if you had done a good job before. So I think that's one of the things to really recognize that 